Hello everyone and welcome back to Porfix 1.1 Stardew Valley Let's Play C series series I don't know what I was trying to say there series on the wilderness map. So let's get going. It's another thunderstorm today and Queen of Sauce, lots of pancakes, fortune teller, spirits are displeased, and tomorrow will be another storm. Is that three storms in a row? It's Quite remarkable, actually. Alright, let's grab... We need our wheat. So let's grab our wheat. You know, let's just keep some wheat on us. Why don't we just do that? And let's grab some more bars. Oh, Mum made me a cake. Cool. I think I can give that to Marnie. I think Marnie likes cakes. Hey, kid, throat's about to dry up. There's a desert bone. I'm real thirsty for a pale ale. No, we don't have one. But you know what I might do is maybe we'll make a round of pale ale. And then we can give that to Pam. So we can make pale ale. Ooh, blueberries! Oh, it's blueberry day. Okay, so that's good. So we've got lots of blueberries today. So let's grab all of those as well. And one random melon. Okay, cool. Let's grab all these. Let's grab all this. We're going to have heaps of gold soon. Lots and lots of blueberries. Yeah, so we're going to be going to be in lots of gold today. So I think we are going to try to have Robin building for us every day for the rest of uh, summer, um, and just consistently sort of upgrading things. I think this is done too. Yep, star fruit, cool, um, and nothing else. That's all good. So let's let's make some pale ale. So let's put that in there. It's Sunday today. Okay, so let's put all these away because we don't need that. I might put that away. Holy moly. Let's put just a few of those away. One, two, three, four. I think we can actually go to the community center now as well. Um, and the rest I think we'll keep on us just for the moment. Um, and we'll keep going, so that's really good. We, do we have our axe on us? No, we need to grab our axe, because we are going to be upgrading our axe today. Actually, the watering can would be good to upgrade today, um, because it's going to be raining tomorrow as well. Do we want to do that? You know what, we'll do that in the last day of fall, I think. That, that can be when we upgrade our watering can. So we'll upgrade our axe, because I do want to go into the secret forest, or whatever it's called. Um, so we won't, won't do that today. I don't think Robin comes out when it's raining, which is fair enough. Oh, no, she is here. Okay, let's grab our bucket. Yeah, let's do that. Let's milk our cows and say hi to our cows. Yeah, lots of milk. We haven't got any big milk yet, but that's okay. Um, I do think our cows will be starting to like us soon, so we should be getting some soon. Let's keep putting this away. Lots of things to make lots of gold with today. So our gold situation is just going to skyrocket, I think, in summer. Um, we should have plenty of gold to buy as many things as we want, just about. So let's, let's grab all this. Let's keep putting those away. Let's say hi to our chickens, because we still want big eggs from them. No, Gus, I want some. I've already got some. No, let's just put that egg there for the moment. Yep, that's what we're after. And let's put these eggs away. Yep, okay, so 8.50. I think before we go to the farm, um, we'll have just a quick look down here and see what the travelling merchant's going to sell. Um, and if we get something lucky, um, that'd be pretty cool. Um, otherwise, we'll head over to Clint's and um, do those sort of things. So what's we got? Yeah, no, nothing too important there. We could buy this rare seed. Yeah, it is, it's starting to be to get full. We might buy a couple of rare... Every time we see them, that person now, we might buy a rare seed. Um, other than that, we'll just keep keep going. So let's... Let's put this... All, actually, you know what? While we're going to cleanse, let's do what we've been saying we were going to do for a while and grab all of those geodes. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and hopefully we get a fair bit of coal out of that, as well as other items that, can, that we can use. Because um, we're very light on coal. Let's put two more away. Um, 
and let's let's put all away the things we don't need. So we don't need that. We don't need that. You know, what? I'll put the pail away. I keep forgetting to put that away. We won't. We don't need that just yet. We'll sell those. We'll sell that. We'll sell all of this except the hops. So let's put the hops away. Um, and then let's grab the geodes. Uh, geode and geode. Okay, very good. Um, we might even nearly, depending on how much gold we've got, we might even buy the upgraded backpack today. Pam is thirsty. Okay, cool. Um, because we've got so much gold, and um, yeah, the backpack would be good for us. Um, the reason why I don't buy the backpack early is because it costs so much, and I'd rather spend gold on items that give you gold back, rather than, you know... It, it sort of just makes life easier for you, rather than giving a whole lot of gold. So that's heaps of gold. But now that our gold situation is just getting out of control, um, and we don't really need... Um, like, we'll have enough money by the time our barn's finished to make a new barn, so I think now is probably a good time to do that. Um, let's go take all our geodes and then upgrade our axe. Um, and you know what, we could probably even, depending on how we go, consider buying some coal. Um, I don't normally like doing that because it does cost a fair bit of gold to do that. But if it helps us get kegs and various other things quicker, um, we'll end up getting our gold back at some point anyway. So let's just go through all our geodes. Um, and then once we've done all our geodes, then we'll upgrade our axe. Because if you do it the other way around, um, you can't talk to Clint anymore when he's working on your axe. And it, if you are going to use geodes on the same day as upgrading something, make sure you do all your geodes first. Otherwise, you'll be in a bad spot. Come on, give us some coal. Um, we might as well... Yeah, there's some coal. Might as well go to Gunther and put um, all the things to Gunther that we haven't given him already. Put that away. Yep. It is good having this extra inventory space, though. It does make a difference. Because uh, now we've got this extra row. And we probably won't really need to throw away things for a while now. Got two of those. Hematite. Some clay. Pyrite. Just some normal stone. So we're going to have quite a lot of minerals after all this, because we've, we've done quite well. Alright, let's... Up you know, let's, let's do we want to buy coal? 150. You know, I'm thinking we'll buy 10. It's not too much gold. You know, let's buy 20. That's not too much gold, but we should be able to get that back. And let's upgrade our axe. There we go. So now we've got a fair bit of coal too. So I think I think that was worth it. Um, and let's go put all these to Gunther. Donate them all. So what do we got? Let's go down here. So there's that. There's that. And there's that. And that. And I think that's everything. Yep. Okay, so collect rewards. Holy moly. I might as well grab all of them. Um, and then I think we'll have a quick look down on the beach. And I think that's probably going to do, and then we might head back to our farm after we've checked down the beach, and I think what we'll do after that is we'll go mining, because there's not a lot else we can do. You probably get to the, after watching me go, geez, I like Porfag likes mining a lot, which I do, but um, you get a lot of really useful things when you go mining, um, and I quite like that. Um, you can also get quite a lot of gold too while you're mining. Let's grab all these. Um, I don't Whilst I like doing these forage things, I, I like to try to come down to the beach quite regularly, even if I think most of the time you'll get better gold going in the mine. The reason for that is I want to get level 10 foraging by the end of the first year, and it normally takes me quite a while, and it's normally the last thing I, I get. Um, fishing, you can sort of just keep getting it if you want to. Um, you know, mining and combat and... and farming comes quite easily, but foraging you have to sort of go out of your way to get, and it doesn't really give you a lot of gold in the sort of the later stages of the game, so it's not really worth your time all of the time to try to do that. 
So I so I sort of have to force my way to do it, but anyway, that's okay. Let's make sure we grab these batteries, because that means we might be able to grab some new ones. But before we do that, let's just quickly place some some things down to free up our inventory space. So let's just... Oh, can we grab that? Yeah, let's grab that and put that there. Put that there. And we'll just chuck these down. Just wherever. You know, pure do. I'm not that interested in decorating my house. That's fine. Um, but we better put on. Actually, no. Let's put on some more hops because everything else is hops. So let's do that. And let's get rid of these beer. Let's get rid of all this. That one we've got before. We've got all these before. So we might as well just sell those. Yep. And let's just. Put all of this away. Wait, not the iron. Or do we want to go with copper for a while? Let's just do a couple of copper, I think. Let's put that away. So we could probably make some more kegs if we got some more wood. So I think we need to focus on wood next. Um, I might just buy some um, next time we see uh, Robin. And we might stock up maybe a thousand. Mm, actually, that'll be ten thousand gold, I think. That's probably too much. Um, let's put that there. Let's grab all these. And then I think we'll say hi to our dog. And then I think we'll go mining. Um, but let's get rid of these batteries first. As they go in here, where did I put the batteries? The last one? There we are. 12 batteries. So that'll be 12 Iridian sprinklers or thereabouts. Um, so let's head down the mine. So we need Dwarf Scroll 3. So that's our main one left. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch these, just because that's what I'm used to. And while I'm in the mine, I don't want to, you know, be wasting too much time trying to switch between them. Um, mine. So I think we might go copper, actually, today. Um, because... And kill slimes. Um, because we need copper for, um... For tappers, and we need copper for... Um... What else do we need copper for? We also need it for kegs. So I think we're going to focus on copper today. Um, and then... I'm wondering whether or not we need to do gold. Um, we probably still need quality sprinklers, but I think I'm going to hold off on that. Um, especially considering tomorrow we've got another storm, and it really doesn't take me too long to water our plants when we've got our uh, copper watering can. Going. So there's more copper here. We only one shot the copper, so that should be pretty quick. Uh, let's have a quick look over here before we go down the ladder. Let's kill that. Nope, let's go down the ladder. It's up to 16 copper. Bugs will be coming, but that's fine. Let's break that. Some copper over here. There's the ladder. Um, I'm wondering whether or not we want to get some gold, because whilst copper is useful, uh, we might nearly get to the point in late summer where we might just end up buying copper. Um, 75 each, so what's that? That's about 375 a bar. So that's not too expensive. Um, did I find the ladder before? I can't remember now. Maybe that was on the previous level. Let's grab that. Yep, there it is. Let's have a quick look down here. Nope. Alright, well, let's continue on. Some more copper. We're up to 29. It's 5 o'clock, so we do have a fair bit of time left. It does make it handy when you um, have rainy days. It's another dwarf scroll 1, which I'm probably just going to throw away. We do need a dwarf scroll 3 at some point. Tell you what, it's handy killing everything in one hit. You feel like a, a monster. Oh, more coal. So it's, oh, perfect. And a way down. So we've got lots of coal now. So that's going good. Get more copper. Let's kill this guy. Let's kill all these guys. More copper over here. Okay, so we might check the next level and then maybe we'll go and have a look at... Um, maybe a look at some of the, the gold levels. So let's just quickly go to the next one. Oh no, this is a dark level. I don't want to go there. Okay, so let's try some of the gold levels. So maybe... Let's try 110, I think. Let's go down here. Let's kill the bat. 
Yeah, okay, so hopefully we'll find some gold and maybe some diamonds or some other cool items while we're down here. Oh, I hate getting slowed, it's really annoying. Alright, let's kill this slime as well. There's another one over there. Kill the bat. Yeah, we really lose a lot more health when we're um, down the lower levels, but that's okay. As long as we don't die, it's not too much of an issue for us. Anything up here? Just a bat. Alright, let's continue on. There's, there's a ruby. Rubies are always good. That's 7,000 gold. So let's keep going. So what, I'm just trying to work out. So we're probably two days away from needing to upgrade our coop or barn. And I think if we upgrade the coop, it's 10,000 gold, but we probably will also need to buy some some wood. So it might be in the order of maybe 15,000. So I think we should be able to get 15,000 gold in the next few days. I'm sure we'll have some form of um, crop that will finish for us, um, and that should give us a bit of a gold boost. Maybe some tomatoes or something like that. Let's keep breaking these. Some more coal there. Come on, where's, where's another level? Um, and then I think maybe in fall, maybe early fall, we'll consider um, buying the vault um, when we start having gold for that. Because then we'll be able to get um, in the skull caverns and start to really get iridium and that will really make things really good for us. Because if we can have iridium at the same time we get our... Um, what's it called? Our greenhouse. That'll make winter really, really simple. And we won't have to worry too much at all. Okay, let's... Still a bat up there that I'm mindful of. Yep, you're gonna die. Yep, uh, no, he nearly hit me. Okay, let's have a couple of these just before I die. Let's grab the ruby. Let's kill the bat. Yep, good. So I wonder how much gold we end up getting. Another for another, what's that, six bars? That's not too bad at all. Now we also need to keep collecting gold because we need to upgrade all our items at some point. Um, I think just with a strange sort of goal, we might aim to get full steel by the end of, well, full copper by the end of spring, full steel by the end of summer, Full gold by the end of fall, and then maybe full iridium by the end of winter on year one. I think if we get that, that would be a good outcome. Let's kill this guy. We've got the next level, but let's go over here. Oh, lots of bats. Do we have a bomb, I wonder? No, I don't have a bomb. Okay, because I was just going to blow all these up and then get off the level really quickly, but that's okay. We won't do that. I think after we've got all these, I'll head back to the farm and... I think that'll be it. Let's kill all these, because we've got lots of bats after us. Actually, let's eat a couple of these. Yep. Switch to the sword. There's a bomb. Let's quickly get this. Ooh, I'm gonna come close to dying here, I think. Oh no, no, no! Oh, let's get out of here! Holy moly! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay, let's let's definitely get out of here before I accidentally kill myself. Um, I probably should have eaten more salmon berries then. I didn't expect to lose that much health. Um, yeah, d don't don't do what I just did because that was really dangerous. And there's actually enemies still on our farm because we are in wilderness. So let's um, let's eat some more salmon berries before we accidentally die on our farm. So I think that'll be enough. So let's put those away. Put the gold away. We've got plenty of gold now. Yeah, so that, that really was cutting it a bit too close. Um, probably shouldn't have done that, but anyway, we, we didn't die, so it's all good. Um, what else do we need to put away? So let's put away that. You know, I'll just sell, sell all those, and we'll put the bomb there. Let's grab these. What's more? And let's put those away. So it's a 17, so that's really, really good. I'm quite pleased with that. And let's put these away. And you know what? Let's put the rare crow... I think we'll expand our farm down this way next. So let's just put the rare crow, I don't know, just there for the moment. Let's kill this guy. 
And let's... Are they ready? No, they're not. Okay, let's let's finish up for a day before I accidentally do something stupid again and maybe die. So we don't want that. Um, so let's put half coal away. And let's put that away. And that away. Okay, very good. Alright. So, that's it. Any levels yet? We got level nine farming. So there we go. I do want to make some of these seed makers um, because we've got lots of things that we can use in the seed maker, and you can also get what's it called? You can also get um, ancient seeds. Just lucky if you can get an ancient seed from a seed maker. We've also got um, redeem sprinklers as well. So that's very good. So we got a decent amount of gold considering we sold most of our things to Pierre today. And we bought lots of things today, so that's not too bad. And luckily I didn't die either, so that's always a good thing. Anyway, thank you all for watching this episode. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.